what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today I have a another foundation try on review my first impressions on the Becca aqua luminous foundation in the shade light I know that she did come out a while ago but I just got her at the CCO if you guys did watch my last video which was a little haul slash shop with me um, I picked her up so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, yeah so if you wanna watch me try it on here we go guys so to start off I'm just gonna read you basically what the foundation says it does um, this is the packaging it's in this is the aqua luminous perfecting foundation in the shade light it says, veil your skin with foundation coverage that feels water light. While it evens and perfects the complexion, each weightless fluid drop imparts subtle luminosity that blurs imperfections and creates a soft, focused glow. With a range of flexible shades with Sorry. light, buildable coverage, Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation imparts a healthy, natural glow. And this also says, the light shade is light with neutral undertones, so that's what I got. And it does retail for $44 online, um, but I recently picked this up at the Cosmetic Company Outlet Store and got it for half of that. So it does say to shake up very well, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do half my face with a beauty blender and the other half with a brush. It does have to where, you know, you twist it when you open it, so you actually like pump the foundation into the tube. Did you hear that? I go in with the professional hydrating yeah. primer. And even though it is light, they did have like porcelain and fair, but they were super pale. This is light. So when I swatched it on um, myself at the store, it looked like it matched. So we're about to find out. I put that pores where I have these big ass pores on my face. So let that sit for a second, and then we'll go in with the foundation. Okay, so now we're going to go in, and I guess this right side is going to be the brush. My cookies are going to help me point this So that was just one pump that came out. Let's just go with that, and we'll see how it works. So I'm going to do the brush side first. Well, it does feel very light, like it said. I feel like I'm rubbing nothing on my skin, to be honest. Okay, so now I have a, literally a drop on each side of my face. This side is with the brush, this side with the beauty blender. Um, I think they both pretty much look the same. I think since the foundation is more of a sheer liquid um, formula, I think with the beauty blender and the brush it did the same as, you know, um, with the level of sharing it out because I think it looks, my face looks exactly the same on each side. So what I'm going to do is just go in with one more pump. Um, and see if we can build it up like the bottle and when you tighten it that little piece goes back down so what I'm gonna do is I will just fast forward me going through um, my contour and highlight and then I'm gonna finish my makeup off and actually I'm gonna be filming an eye look as well with the Pat McGrath Mothership palette so like I said, I'll speed past setting and concealing, and then I'll come back at the end and we can see how this foundation looks and I'll kind of um, have some more to talk about with the foundation, obviously, after I've been wearing it for a minute. So, yeah. 
Here we go. Okay guys, so I finally finished my makeup and now we can talk about this Becca foundation. Um, I like it so far so good. Um, it's been about an hour and a half, maybe two <laughs> since I put it on. Um, I was filming, like I said, another eye look with the Pat McGrath palette. Um, but. I have noticed I am a little bit more dewy, I'm not as matte, and I guess you can, can call it the luminous, the luminousness of the foundation, the luminosity I guess, um, because it definitely is there. I did set it with a, um, the Charlotte Tilbury perfecting powder under my eyes and I went in with the Dior, um, I think it's Nude Air or something, you guys seen it in the video the powder for all over. So I definitely think everything came together pretty well and I'm excited to keep using this more. I want to try it with a different primer maybe, um, but I'm excited to see how it will wear throughout the day. Nothing bad to say about the foundation as of now. Um, it was a little, for being the shade light, I think it was a little, a little tad darker than most of my foundations that are in light. But um, I'm just glad I finally got to try this out. I've been seeing this baby since it launched. It's been a couple years already since this first came out and I've always heard great things about it but I've never really picked it up. I never was like oh I must go try it now. But since it was half price at the CCO I was like you know what it's a sign from the makeup gods. I should go ahead and try it. So I did, and here we are. Um, I'm gonna bring y'all a little bit closer so we can see. Here is what my face is looking like. I don't feel oily. I don't think I look oily. I think I look like I have a glow going on. And that's what I like about it. So, here we go a little more closer. But as you can see, I got kind of this acne bumps going on, but that's nothing new. So, let me know if you guys have tried this already. I know I'm probably late on it, and you guys were like, we just this is like 20-year-old foundation, even though it's not, you know, with everything that comes out all the time, it's kind of hard to keep up with what's newer, what's been out for a minute. So, I really like how it came out. I'm loving this look all together. I think the makeup came together great. If you're wondering what gloss I have on, it is the Becca Glow Gloss in Ruby Fire. I actually have it on over the Bare Minerals Attitude Lip Liner. So yeah, that completes my review try-on of the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know the drill. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.